Okay, for Writer's Workshop today, we are going to talk about crafting persuasive introductions. Your success criteria, I can write a persuasive introduction that provides background information, states my opinion, identifies logical reasons that support my claim. Your goal for persuasive writing is to persuade the audience to agree with you. When you are getting started writing a persuasive essay, you need to know your opinion and claim from the beginning. That needs to be very concrete in your mind or the rest of it will not go very well. The claim is based on your opinion. It may or may not be proved correct. So that also means it should be something that someone else could possibly disagree with. You also should be using persuasive language. Use specific persuasive techniques to draw in your audience. Consider this. Is there only one way to make a chocolate chip cookie? Select your answer now. No, there are a million different ways you can make a chocolate chip cookie. <clears throat> Just like with cookies, there's not only one recipe or format for writing introductions. So there are lots of possible ingredients or pieces that could be arranged to craft a strong introduction. We're going to discuss a combination of possible ingredients, which will be sentences that are often included in strong persuasive essay introductions. So ingredient one is providing background information on the topic. Do not assume your reader knows anything about your topic. Pretend your reader is the dumbest person in the world. You need to educate your reader, include a sentence or two to introduce your topic and explain the purpose of the piece. You're not writing a whole paragraph of background information, just a sentence or two. Here's an example. So providing background information might include a hard hitting fact, description of a scenario, which a scenario is like a situation that has happened or defining keywords. Here's an example of providing background information. There are a few consumer products that cause as much, there are few consumer products that cause as much controversy as bottled water. That means there are not many more that cause as much controversy as bottled water. Bottled water can be labeled as a luxury item, a healthier choice, a sports drink, and of course, a convenience. What could possibly be wrong with bottled water? I believe bottled, bottled water is a problem and should be banned in my community. Which of the three techniques did this student use to provide background information on his topic? Write your answer now. The student used a hard hitting fact, which is few consumer products that cause as much controversy as bottled water. So gave information also about bottled water, but there's a lot of controversy about it. So ingredient number two is stating your opinion within your thesis. So this sentence clearly states your claim and your three logical reasons to support your claim. I believe bottled water is a problem and should be banned in my community because the bottles are bad for the environment. The bottles are a waste of resources and the water could be bad for our health. Highlight the claim in one color and the three logical reasons in another. Do that now. Okay, identify your reasons. You should identify why you believe your thesis is right. So, explicitly state each reason. Wearing school uniforms eliminates peer pressure, reduces morning stress, and saves families money. For persuasive introductions, we will use a combination of possible ingredients or sentences that often are included in strong persuasive essay introductions, providing background information, stating your opinion or thesis, and identifying your reasons. Read through the sentence strips. We're going to do this kind of together. I'm going to show you the thought process. Then number the sentence strips based on the order you would arrange them for a proper introduction. One is the first strip, five is the last. So as we read these sentence strips, we need to decide which part of the three parts this would be, okay? So we as a community need to stop buying so many water bottles because they are very damaging to our earth, okay? There are three main ways that bottled water is damaging. The second is 
that the bottles can be harmful to people. And the third is that disposal of the bottle is damaging to the earth. Americans used close to 50 billion plastic water bottles last year. The U.S.'s recycling rate for plastic is only 23%, which means that 38 billion water bottles, more than $1 billion worth of plastic, are wasted each year. That is a mouthful. The first is that they use too much oil in the production. Well, here we go. If we go back up to this first one, that kind of sounds like a thesis. So I'm going to maybe think it would go right after the background information. Um, this is saying three main ways. So that reminds me of the three reasons. This one is saying the second is that, and the third is that. So that there's a first one somewhere, which I remember is down here. So this one is going to go before here. And this one, America's used close to 50 billion plastic water bottles. That seems like background knowledge. So this would be one. Slide number four is one. Then we need our thesis after the background knowledge. So we're going to come back up here to the first one. This would be number three. There are three main ways. And then four down here, the first way, and then the second and third way would be five. There we go. That's how we process through that. So now you need to try this one on your own. This one right here. Right now you need to read through, decide what's background, decide what's thesis, decide which ones are reasons, and number those so that we know what order they should go in. Okay, now you need to go to your notebook. Go to the next blank page. Consider the claim students should or should not be allowed to have water bottles at school. Pick a side. So I'm going to pick students should be allowed to have water bottles at school. Craft an introduction that incorporates the three ingredients we discussed today. So provide background information, state opinions, thesis, and the three reasons. That is what you're doing today for writing.